Hello, everyone, and welcome to Phys Ed Summit 4.0. We're glad that you could join us. So uh, my name is Colin, and I'm part of the Phys Ed Summit team, and I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial. So if you're viewing this tutorial, this means that you've probably accessed the conference program either via email or directly from our website at physedagogy.com. So what you're going to do uh, when you want to view a session is, first of all, um, all our sessions are digital and they are going to be live on February 27th at 10 a.m. Eastern or New York time. So what you're going to do here is on that day is you're just going to go through the different sessions. You're going to find one that you want to watch and then when you see it starts at 10 a.m. Um, before that session starts you're going to see this. It says click here for presentation. When you click here for the presentation it's going to send you to a website called Tazel. Tazel is a back channeling slash pin board uh, website. So what that means for you is this. Um, on the day of February 27th, you're going to see full action, or full access physical education, for example. You're going to push play. So when you push play, the broadcast will say broadcast starting shortly, or it will, might go to a live coverage actually of the session. If it's afterwards, this session will be automatically archived. Say you watch it at 11 a.m. Eastern or New York time, you'll watch the archived version. And you can watch this at your convenience at any time at a later date. However, if you push play beforehand, you'll see something along these lines. So during the presentation itself, this the presentation will be playing down here. And you're going to be up here, and you can have a conversation uh, with the presenter or presenters about their specific uh, presentation, whether that be questions that you have for either of them or things that you'd like to share with others that are joining in uh, watching the presentation. On this pin board itself, down here, uh, this hasn't been added yet, you're going to be able to access links and uploaded files as well that have to do with this specific presentation. So once you're done viewing it, you can always go back to the conference program and push back and then you can view all the other presentations. So I hope this helps and let us know if you have any other questions. Thanks.